Who shut the door, by the way? I didn't shut the door. Oh, yeah, I'm looking cool. Let's motor. Oh, now the window, not the window. Now the mirror doesn't work. I have to, like, whatever, shut the door again. All right, go back to the main room and talk to yeah, Gary. There's Gary. I'm cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. Alright, well, let's start this concert. I hope it's the same guitar riff that played for like 30 minutes earlier that I was complaining about. Like a, It was like a couple sessions ago. A, like bugged guitar riff that just would not stop playing. I hope that's the All song right. they play. Let's do this. Ten minutes of that one riff just clears the whole fucking bar out. Actually, a lot of people here. Holy shit. I just do... I can, like, 360 play the guitar. That's pretty cool. Alright, it's gotta pick up... It's gotta pick up sometime. Am I supposed to, like, hit buttons? I don't think so. Dude, can I walk around and play the guitar? Hell yeah. I only have this little space. <laughs> I just like talk to this guy while I play. Like, hey, you come here often? Yeah, you know, I'm playing guitar on stage. I'm kind of important. You know, I'm kind of famous. Oh, yeah. Everyone's rocking out. Look at this dude. Oh, I can sing? Hell yeah, let me sing. I want to sing a little bit. Dude, let me, like, crowd surf. Flash devil horns? Fuck yeah, let's flash them. Everyone's gonna look. Look at my devil horns. I'm flashing them. Oh, play a sick solo? You know it. Yeah, everyone loves the sick solo. Oh, she's like thrashing around the stage. Fuck yeah. We just bump into everybody. Oh shit. I went over pretty well. Crowd was digging it. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove to myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did. Have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here, but I still plan on playing. You want to hear a new Johnny? Oh, he's gone, isn't he? 
Yeah. Yeah, but he can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Oh, shit, what the fuck? That gun. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. Oh, I'm sure you well, will. It wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Oh, we'll probably talk to Judy first since she called me. She was so nice to call me without me having to wait super long. Beautiful. I wonder if this pistol's any good. It might be. Uh, let's go to inventory. Bam. Let's, let's try to swap this out. Where's it at? Mm, I think this is what he gave me, right? It kind of it kind of looks like it. It's got like a bunch of mods. Oh, the DPS isn't really that good. I'll probably be using this bat anyway for the end of this since this bat has like 1,000 DPS. I wish I could upgrade it, but I don't even know what level I have to be to upgrade it because I don't understand like what int underscore zero actually means. Like, obviously there's supposed to be a specific level here, but it doesn't tell me what level I need to be, so... That's fantastic. Anyway, let's go ahead and mark this Judy quest. I don't know which one it was. Here it is. Bam. Easy. Nice and easy. I know there's a fast travel point, like, right here, because I was talking about it when I walked in, so... Nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy teleport. We'll see what's up with Judy, and then we'll probably finish out the Judy quest line. I don't know how long it's going to be. It might be long. It might take a while. And then I'll probably go back to the main story and try to close out the main story. Or so I hope. I feel like more shooting going on. Every time I zone into somewhere, it just sounds like the cops are fighting someone. I mean, there's definitely some sort of fighting going on somewhere, but you know what? We got to we got to go talk to Judy. Judy, which door is yours? Where's Judy? Judy, where are you? Wait a minute. Oh, I have to wait? Okay. Right, we gotta wait till the evening. Obviously, we couldn't go in her apartment and hang out. We just gotta, like, wait in the hallway. And then we can go in it, of course. Ugh. Hopefully this fucking pizza's good hey, that she hey. got. What the? Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. Who the fuck is Tom? I don't remember Tom. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. I'm this grabbing a seat. Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? <laughs> He's just like, eat the free pizza and let's leave. <laughs> like... Feeling better? That's pretty funny. You look better. I'm just here for the pizza, you know? I'm out of here. Autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. Oh, someone. Yep, someone's here. There we go. Michael just showed up. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. 
You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? All right, poor Tom's the guinea pig, well, I guess, so... from a kung fu training virtue. Okay. That was pretty that was pretty impressive, Tom. Nice. Gotta admit. Not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I wanna see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I wanna see how Tommy handles him. V? I'm about to fuck Tommy up. You want to fight Still Tommy? Mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. Let's fuck it's him up. Now. Oh yeah, let's do a Tommy. Oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> hey, let me get one hit, and then he just he just there, messed me? me up. <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some cardio. Happy now. I'm really happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. It's just my work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Yeah, we'll be fine, Johnny. Calm down. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Ugh. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Oh, my God. Have fun. Toodaloo. <sighs> Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine. Now I'm gonna have to wait a couple days again. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You wanna help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Dude, I don't even care about the money at this point. I'll just be nice. Judy? For real? No, don't wanna hear it. But... Uh, but, but... Not a word. 
Uh, I'm about to pass out, oh. Judy, so I gotta get oh. out of here. Otherwise, you're gonna get some blood on the floor. V, oh. Everything okay? No, it's not good, Judy. V, you don't look so hot. I'm fine. Uh, We're fine. Uh, We're good. Okay. Okay, I'm better. I'm fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? I've been sick the whole time. Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna collect. Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Ooh. Crashing on the Judy couch. Hell yeah, I'm going to crash great. on this couch. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. All right, we'll do. I'll just pass out with my shoes on. I'm not going to change into pajamas or anything. If you find any blood on your couch, that was me. I coughed it up. I'm sorry if that happens. It's just, you know, I can't really control it. If I had the option to, to control coughing up blood or not, I would probably rather not cough up the blood, you know? So it's a, it's a little bit out of my hands. Or a little bit out of my mouth, I guess. It doesn't really come out of my hands. All right, what the fuck? Huh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. God, Johnny's such a fucking asshole. Anyway, we got three texts from Judy for some reason, even though we were sleeping on her couch. Morning, sleepyhead. Had to run. Didn't want to wake you. Left you some breakfast. Eat up. All right, I'll have some leftover pizza. Oh, she left us a cup of coffee and a ham and cheese sandwich. Nice. Thanks, Judy. Guess I'll take the... I'll eat the whole fucking pizza. That was pretty funny. What else we got in here? Well, well, well. The Bushido collection Gary? in BD uh, format. Johnny? First three are collector's items nowadays. V this time. Disappointed. Fuck. Sorry. Don't really get how that show of yours works. Something particular up, Carrie? A job. Of a kind that seems ideal for you. Now he's got jobs for us? What Corner the? Corner Gray and Malagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. Alright, I don't know if we'll be talking, but... I appreciate you calling me and trying to give me, like... A nice mission to do, I guess. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Oh, it's very pro. Well, she's got, like, a bunch of shit in here that we can just kind of, like, scan and talk about. It's pretty neat. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. What is this, like, one thing that I didn't find? Is it in this room? Where is it? It's, like, something there. Yep, okay. Nah, it's just, like... Oh, uh, it's just the door? I can scan her door. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We got to leave the building, and I'm sure we're going to have to wait, like, two days for her to call us or something. I guess Maiko is supposed to call us. Street cred. 35 street cred. Beautiful. New gigs available. And now just wants us to go meet Hanako, because I guarantee we have to wait some amount of time. Go to the meeting point between 1230 and 330. Yeah, this was the carry quest, wasn't it? I don't think her quest is here right now because we have to get a call from somebody about this, which means I probably have to, like, wait again. See, this is, like, I don't want to have to wait for every quest and, like, why do they disappear? Sometimes they disappear and then they show back up later. Like, it's just kind of, like, it doesn't really help me keep track of quests very easily. 